this is an astrotometry log, um, December the 9th, 2008. It's around 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. This is speculative, but I believe that I just had a breakthrough realization on the hypertime mapping uh, issue. How to relate uh, where a coronal hole's influence as far as its um, uh, potential on the uh, earthquake um, manifestation will be um, by using the uh, active region and the link, the hypertime link between the uh, the water on Earth and the the active region as a locator. I'm noticing that this um, particular uh, hole that we uh, are going to be getting a storm from soon is right next to this uh, active region and that if you look at the the uh, global map the storm activity that seems to be most likely associated with this is near Sumatra and since these two events um, since these two two spots are so close together on the Sun the hypertime foreshadow of the earthquake is probably uh, an earthquake in Sumatra. Now, conceptually, this is a problem because it's in on the northern hemisphere of the sun. It's in it's in the far northern hemisphere of the sun, and uh, Sumatra is is in well, it's it's actually right about on the equator. If that is the if that coronal hole is the uh, hypertime foreshadow of an earthquake that's going to be uh, in Sumatra, then the mapping, the mapping between the Earth and the Sun, um, must be <clears throat> must have some type of a, 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 a time link through the space that relates that that somehow relates it based on the tilt of the Earth. In other words, the, the tilt of the Earth on its axis must be somehow time-synced with the, the point, the area, the region, the active region um, on the Sun. And so, it, if that's the case, then based on where that... Uh, I don't know if I could say what when, when I'm still not I'm still not getting when the time is going to be I'm not still not able to predict that usually when the uh, usually when the um, um, storm comes from the sun the storm um, the, the the solar wind storm that's what we are uh, modeling it as previously um, it usually takes about four or five days to get to arrive and then it seems like there's a, a time asymmetric um, component between when the, it's like when the hole opens is the earthquake like the earthquake is when the hole opens and then the the time that it the time that it passes is this somehow this other part of it that um, is happening is happening as a sort of as a sort of foreshadow of it and so t to know it, it's the it's the time when it in when the uh, solar windstorm uh, actually ends that that the that the usually the big earthquake is. In other words, when it's it's at the end of the solar windstorm, when everything kind of goes back to normal, which was in 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 reverse, is when the was when the hole opened in the first place. And so um, and so I guess I would say I would speculatively say that there might be a, an earthquake, a, a fairly large earthquake, um, a fairly strong earthquake, not not like catastrophic, but fairly strong earthquake in Sumatra in the next week. Um, probably, um, in, yeah, in the next seven days, probably uh, not too far inside, in other words, not probably in the cu next couple days, but um, f four or five days, six, seven at the most. And so if you know someone who's doing earthquake prediction or who might be interested in working with this model, I'm really trying to get this, um, this mapping hammered out right now. It would be really nice to have a, a forecasting system in place. 
Um, I'm really kind of concerned about um, the Bay Area uh, sort of being overdue, and it would be really nice to have a have some type of a heads up on on something like that. Um, and so, if you know of anybody to pass this around to, uh, please do. Thanks.